welcome. A, a pillow to the chat. D will Are you interested in doing, are you going to be doing video today? I can. I actually have it okay. set up. I actually have the bisexual lighting set up. Okay, perfect. perfect. Yeah, if you, are, are you able to send a video? You should be able to. You should have the right to send video yeah. to this channel. Okay. All right. Cool. So it should be just turn on camera, I'm assuming? Yeah, you should be able to just turn on camera, and then I will uh, get you on. If it doesn't let you, the mods might have to work on it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let me get you full screened. Let me get you on here. Perfect. And I'm going to get your name. Okay, so real quick, you go by oh, A Pillow. And what are your pronouns out of curiosity? Any all. Any okay. all. Okay. A Pillow. Any all. All right. Perfect. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is wonderful uh, to to speak with you. It's wonderful to have you on the show today. Um, yeah. How's it going? How are you doing? Doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. I'm glad to be here. I was actually a. Uh invited by Alora to come on here after they uh, saw my channel so that's awesome yeah, i am familiar with advice. your channel i have actually i think i watched one of your debates from a while ago um i'm trying to remember i feel like it was with a transfer probably <laughs> yeah. uh actually i have it was probably the one i haven't debated any transphobes but i have debated cassandra nia the uh nazi uh, trans yes. that girl lady i think that was who it was actually <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not that I'm thinking. For some reason, I thought of transphobe, but uh, maybe I was misremembering that. But yeah, it was it was a while yeah. ago, I think. But yeah, I've I've seen that debate. So uh, you've done some you've done some pretty spicy debates. How do you, uh, I know. How, do you <laughs> how do you feel about about the state of debate? Do you feel like you're able to get debates these days relatively well, or do you feel like they're going well? Or honestly, my last debate was with her uh since then it's only really been friendly conversation with people well, that's good but reason. even then uh state of debate it's it's either a topic where both me and the person i'm talking to are not knowledgeable enough to be having that conversation <laughs> or it's a situation where i'm debating uh australian hitler who doesn't know long division for some reason <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, that was well, kind of my experience when I was uh, like, I don't do debate as often anymore. I think my last like heart, like actual debate. I mean, I had a conversation that was mildly contentious, uh, but friendly ultimately um, about atheism. But my last real debate was with uh, uh, was with a Minecraft YouTuber who was super mad about um they were super mad about, first they got really mad about my Neo pronouns take, and they had no argument whatsoever. Um, mm. I think their name is uh, A Cheeto. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with them. They're like a commentary community Minecraft person. Um, that mm. was a very funny conversation, but it was also one of those ones where it was just like, can this be seriously, is this <laughs> seriously <Yeah>. anything <laughs> educational? It was so, it was so goofy, um, but yeah, when I was when I I used to do when I started, I used to do a ton of debate. That was like my main content was debate and uh and panel stuff. But it mm -hmm. got a uh, it got it got messy fast and it got really toxic fast. The the space got bad. And then there was a it got to a point where basically I was only getting invites for one topic, which I'm sure you can guess what that topic is going to be, and that is of course are trans women women and i'm just like man yeah. i am uh i am really not feeling the vibe of only getting invites to talk about whether uh trans women are women or not like that's yeah. that's pretty nasty yeah so uh it was i i so i just sort of made the decision like i'm out of this this thing but um so what, which honestly oh, oh go ahead. you no, go, ahead. go ahead please go ahead oh well, i was gonna say which like honestly i i can't blame you i've had many a debate where after i just kind of pull back and i'm like well why the fuck did i do that <laughs> yeah it's uh it's rough it's funny too because it used to be it really didn't used to be like that i keep saying that and i don't know if anybody believes me but but uh when i first came into this space there was a lot of debate and a lot of it had a a it, it at least had the veneer at least some level of of like there is some actual interest in learning and growing here and i've actually had like a number of decent debates but not for a long time so um yeah 
Yeah, but not to over fixate on debate. Uh, real quick, like uh, I, I, this is your first time coming in front of this community. Although I've seen mm -hmm. you around here, do you want to let them know what like your what your vibe is? What's your stuff that you do usually? Like what type of content do you make? What's your what's your thing? And where and where uh, can they find you? Oh yeah, so uh, Twitter dot com slash real pillow, I guess is my Twitter, but right. mostly on YouTube, just a space space pillow uh, named after one of my favorite bands the pillows who did the music for one of my favorite animes bully cooley but that's besides the point oh that's awesome um, bully cooley's legendary oh yeah fully cooley goes hard love fully yeah. cooley i think it very recently and barely got beat out by revolutionary girl utina but fully cooley great anime awesome. um but all of that uh, mostly when it comes down to content it's live stream segments typical stuff i'll talk politics but occasionally i'll do like some really nerdy shit like i there's one video where i nerded out about like webtoon which was something uh awesome. pretty much you know uh and then of course i also take in viewer requests what people like want me to cover things like that basically anything you can find on any other lefty kind of streamer youtube channel i do i just add my own spin to it tend to have a chill vibe uh some people in the comments say that i have like a very nice narrator announcer voice so you i do guess have if a you nice like voice. that it's really true you you really do and also your audio quality is very nice like usually you can expect an audio downgrade when we go on on discord discord compression is nasty but even still your your mic comes through nice and clear I appreciate it. I'm rocking with the uh, blue snowball. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Good mic. That's awesome. Yeah, the snowball yeah. is like the Yetis. I I have gone back and forth on Yeti over the years. My first mic was a blue Yeti, and I really liked it. Though over time, because it was the USB one, I started having issues. But it's true that they just have a really good baseline of quality. And if you can, if you can get your room set up right, you can get a really nice sounding audio. Uh, landscape. It's really great. Um, well, that's awesome to hear. So, uh, so lefty variety content, politics and anime, and uh, just so you know, you're going to be very much at. <laughs> you will definitely find yourself at home among the imps. We have a lot of nerds oh, yeah. here. We got a lot of uh, a lot of divergent uh, uh, nerdy interests. So we have a very broad scale of people who. I mean, I was. I play sometimes. We have a, a really, really cool member of my chat who sends us Kaniku Man memes all the time. And I am not, I'm not like a longtime fan of Kaniku Man, uh, but I have learned that there are a lot of fans of Kaniku Man in my audience, which was surprising. So, <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So, uh, so, so this, this whole Signal Night thing is all about like trying to build community and if you don't mind me asking uh what what has your experience been on youtube being a creator do you feel like there's a i guess just give me your experience with with the concept of or the feeling of a community mm -hmm. around you could be around lefty stuff it can be around nerd stuff i have my opinions but i'd like to hear yours and i'd like to get as much feedback as possible because not like on this stream but on the on the space and what people are feeling because yeah. I, I i you know as I said at the beginning of the stream, I feel like a lot of people feel like very disconnected from one another. Yeah, I, I will definitely say my experience has been a little different than other people's just due to the fact that I I pretty much owe my channel to uh, Zan, great friend. Uh, he's Zan's boosted awesome. me throughout. Very great. Love That's him. Awesome. Um, but he's, he's pretty much boosted my channel. And I owe pretty much my entire audience to him um and due to that fact me also being fairly prominent in his community i'm an admin in, a di in his discord admin in his chat um it's very much so a situation where there is a lot of carryover and due to that it's it's kind of weird because like of course everything is still parasocial and stuff yeah, but a lot of the happens. people that are in my community, I've also interacted with before I even started my channel. So it's it's kind of weird. But I think that's cool. Generally, oh yeah. 
I mean, yeah. I, I think that's like the ideal way for, for like communities to grow, to like grow new creators within them. Like it, there's this, um, in my opinion, there was like a lot of toxicity that came out of like in early, in early politics spaces. Um, there's like a lot of, I don't know about maybe maybe tribalism is or clickishness is like the right word around where people would like call each other orbiters and all this stuff and and I felt like that was a really toxic way to exp to like visualize people naturally rising out of communities and making friends and I, when I started I was just a viewer of a bunch of streams and uh, early on, some of the people who knew me from being in those chats from just socially participating came to check out my stream and ended up enjoying my stream and some of them are still here now to this day and like to me that's organic that's like really good yeah. and it's especially good if you have like a really positive engagement with like another creator who supports you and who likes your stuff and um i guess what i'm saying is i think that's awesome and it's it's really good and also i don't think it should be you know perceived as like owing anybody anything i think it's i think it's sick and it's a good thing and also i think it makes communities stronger because you know, it gives people the, it gives people the very real experience of being in a living space. So I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. I personally love Zan's community. I think they're super cool. I think they're super positive. Um, they've been that way for a long time. And of course I'm personal IRL friends with Zan himself. Like, you know, I've known Zan for a long time and over time we've gotten closer to the point that we hang out in real life. And, um, and I think he's great. And I think the way that he runs his community is really awesome. So it's it's really good. It's really uh, encouraging for me to hear that you had a good experience with his community as well. Yeah. So I'm hoping I'm hoping to see even more connection like that. Like I want to I want you know to to encourage people to go hang out in Zan's community, hang out in these other positive communities that are like I don't know that are building things that are like building people up and that are like helping people find their way and it's good for everyone it, it literally makes the space uh more more lively there's more things to check out there's more opinions to hear it's it's really good yeah it is. people in chat are saying build pilled yeah let's what happened what what how did we find ourselves in the age of the burnt bridge let us let us find ourselves the age of the built bridge <laughs> yeah we need to build back better as one yeah. would say. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. True. Oh my God. They have the BBB. That's that's it. I haven't yeah. heard them banging on that one for a while, but true. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's got to come back up sooner or later. Approaching election season. So. so. Okay. So there's a good topic to ask you about. How are you? What are your? Well, how are your feelings about the upcoming election season? It's quite that's interesting. <laughs> uh, seventy-two hours ago, I was actually in the great state of florida um on vacation Oof. after graduation parents wanted to treat me to a vacation and you know well, they congratulations on, on graduation by the way that's awesome thank you thank you i'm really excited to go off to college and get shitty internet in my dorm to stream from but you know what <laughs> there are ways around that listen to True. find the tech nerds they will help you oh i shall i shall yeah. <laughs> um but definitely my opinions on the uh, upcoming election are, it, it's twofold. One thing that I've said uh, on my channel before, and this is a really interesting strategy. For reference, I live in North Carolina. It's kind of like a purplish state. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that also kind of, maybe if anyone hears an accent off of me, that might be why. Um, but living in North Carolina, living near red areas... This is the advice I've given people. If you live in a red area, so of course we have a situation in the Republican Party where the primaries are ultimately going to come down to Trump or DeSantis. Yeah. And Trump is going to be the better option. He's a known commodity. The American voter base already doesn't like him. They've already voted him out once. They are most likely not going to let him back into office. DeSantis isn't a known commodity, at least in terms of the wider American voter base. Mm -hmm. And you really don't want him in office because he's, I'm nine, I'm like very sure that if he were himself to get into office, he's going to be significantly worse than another Trump presidency. Yeah. So my advice has been this. 
if someone lives in a red district that isn't gonna flip blue, if they live in a red state that very likely isn't gonna flip blue, what they should just do this election cycle, and, you know, this is pretty simple, if they live in a district where Republicans, I mean, where Democrats are never going to win, they should register as a Republican to vote in the primaries. Yeah, I've heard of this. And stuff. then, yeah, and then turn around and vote Biden in the general. Because <laughs> by voting like Trump that. in in the primaries, you can kneecap the Republican Party and then turn around and fuck him over in the general. I feel like I feel like DeSantis is going to have a real rough time. He's getting obliterated in the internal polls right now. Uh, oh yeah. And yeah, I I I do personally think that that you know I think that DeSantis would do more damage if he was ever able to get to the presidency because of the way that he approaches governance. Because he's but but honestly, at the current state of the GOP, I don't know if he has a chance. I don't know yeah. anyone but Trump has a chance. And it's like, but also I can't help but feel like Donald Trump doesn't have a chance against Biden right now. Like maybe yeah. I could be wrong. I mean, I was not of the opinion that like it was going to be a sweep for Hillary uh, way back when, you know, I was not, I did not buy into the idea that like Hillary had it locked down um, at all. I was actually, in fact, some of my uh, viewers will tell you that there's actually a video uh, out there of me from, uh, you, are you familiar with David Pakman? I am. Yeah, David, pa I used to be a big Pakman fan. I don't I don't really watch his show that much anymore, but years ago I did, and I called in on election night uh, to talk about trans issues with regard to Donald Trump. And because, just specifically because, I was like, I don't think it's like a, there's all these people who think it's like lock solid, you know, Hillary Clinton's gonna do it. But even still, even with all that said, I, I have a hard time envisioning a path to victory for Donald Trump uh, yeah. in, in, you know, in the upcoming, you know, 2024 elections. Like it, it just, I mean, I, barring some really crazy, uh, 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 f you know, shenanigans on the like electoral college, he got clapped by Biden. And I don't think yeah. he's gained anybody in, I don't think he's gained any popularity since then. I think his core is still Trumpers. Like his cult is, is obviously they're like, they're ride or die. The most ride or die I've ever seen any political group. I have never seen a political fandom like the Trump fandom, but I don't think they're recruiting any new people. In 2016, I remember my friends who were liberals, who were enticed by, by some of the things that Donald Trump was saying. And that is just not the case anymore. There were yeah. there were like there were liberals and and moderates who were willing to consider Donald Trump, and I just don't think that's the case anymore. So I can't help but agree that I think that Donald Trump going up against Biden is probably the ideal situation for the country to be in. And also, you know, obviously, I would like to <laughs> I would obviously like to see Biden absolutely clap uh, Donald Trump again. My It'll nightmare scenario is uh is my nightmare scenario is that both Trump and Biden uh, don't make it to 2024. Yeah. And then it's yeah. like what? Buttigieg versus Buttigieg Fucking versus DeSantis? DeSantis. Oh, God. <laughs> nightmare. Nightmare. If, I'm not going to lie. If a Buttigieg versus DeSantis happens, I'll just like move to Canada. <laughs> yeah, run. <laughs> run for your life. As funny as it would be, as absolutely hilarious as it, as it would be to see Ron DeSantis get beaten by Buttigieg, uh, that's not a gamble that I want to make at all. <laughs> not at all. Not at so, all. I, yeah. I enjoy being intact and alive. And Me too. I don't want to see... What's what's going to happen in that situation? <laughs> Me neither. And I do worry that uh, the fact that there's no Democratic heir, so to say, which I can't believe that's the language we use these days, but the fact that there's yeah. no heir to the Democratic Party outside of Biden, there's nobody. There's just no one, really, uh, is yeah. shocking and worrying to me. Uh, but let's just hope let's just hope fighting Joe holds out until then. Uh, get as much naps in as he possibly can. Anyway, yeah. so, um, mm -hmm. uh, not to not to cut us short, but we are coming up on the end of our little time segment here. So I wanted to give you another chance before we wrap up to 
once again, please shout out your channel. Uh, it's been absolutely awesome to talk with you, and I'm sorry that our time is is relatively short tonight. We have to keep it. I want to make sure that we're you know getting everybody in who can. But it's been super awesome to talk with you. Been fun. Have I mean I've had a fine time being on here myself. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, channel is uh, a space pillow. It should come right up um, when you search it. And uh, twitter.com slash RillaPillow or just at RillaPillow on Twitter if you would like to follow me. Uh, and thank you for having me on once again. Absolutely. More than happy to have you on. Uh, seriously, thank you so much for coming on. And uh, everybody, please go check out a pillow. Um, you've been wonderful to talk to, and I hope we'll see you around again. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we will. So uh, thanks thank for coming you. on. Thank you for having me. I'll talk Bye. to you later. Bye for now. Hi. All right. That was awesome. That was amazing.